Hey, what's up guys? How's it going? So, as you guys can tell, I got 78,000 stars from the event so far. And again, I had 98,000 from yesterday. I went from 160,000 gems to 244,000 gems after the uh, first run through the labyrinth. And now we are going through it once again with 78,000 stars. And here we go. Now, of course, I'm just going to kind of see what happens. I don't know. I honestly don't know what we're going to get. So that's 11 Queen Venom, some healing speeds, some desperately needed food. But honestly, I have no idea what we're going to run into. I mean, frankly, it's there's no telling. What I can tell you is, though, right, is that the, this event is ridiculously lucrative. I mean, I've literally gone from having nothing to almost having more than I'll ever need. Every time I hit the boss, all right, it's 11 times anything. That's a ton of gems every single time. So there's 33, 6, 5. That's a ton of gems, especially now that we have Divine Blessing. So there's 22 million food. That's crazy, crazy amounts of stuff there. Um, and, you know, obviously, you know, I mean, sure, sir, some of you guys are probably thinking, well, like, how can I get access to this? And like I said, you just need to save your energy. That's really where it counts for this event. I mean, I got tons of jewel chests and stuff of that nature, tons of three days, tons and tons of 12. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll show you after this uh, just how much I got. And again, I'm sure some of you are thinking, but why not the normal library? Part of the reason why is because I need the gold. I need the food. I need a lot of that. A normal labyrinth just won't cut it for that kind of thing. So, doing 1k at a pop, you know, you might win the labyrinth, you might not. Most likely not, but eh, you never know. But we're getting tons of rares, tons of speeds. It's kind of what makes it worthwhile. Now, of course, you, know, you can see I'm almost running out now, so we're getting pretty close to the to the near completion. Oh, there's some 24 hours, more Terrathorn seeds. And lo and behold, the boss. With the last 6k I have, let's see what I get here. So, oh, that's still, that's a ton of gems right there. Easy, easy, easy. Now, of course, I have 2.4k left. So, this is when I'll switch over to normal, and we'll just kind of use up what we got left. So, we'll just kind of see where this gets us. Might get us a little bit of something, who knows. Uh... Oh, there's some energy. I mean, that's never a bad thing. But again, you know, this is kind of like, you know, the benefit of doing this event, though, is you just always come out of it incredibly wealthy out of it. It really just, it really does pan out pretty well for most players that get into this event. And well, to be honest with you, I've, you know, I'm, I'm terribly, terribly happy with where this has gone so far. So... Now, obviously, you know, now that that's pretty much done and over with, I'm at 276,000 gems. It's a lot of gems, especially seeing as how I had, like, hardly anywhere near that, uh, you know, <laughs> earlier. I was looking at maybe only having 160k, and I went from 160k to 276k in only a few days. But, of course, you know, what about the good stuff, right? Obviously, you know, the thing about this event is, look at that, I mean... Look at all that, you know, I mean, that's the thing I love about this event is it really literally if you were running out of speeds after this event, you will have plenty, <laughs> plenty of speeds. Um, and then the cool part, too, is, you know, obviously, uh, you know, it's, it's just it's not just that, but it's the resources, you know, you, you're, you're easily going to come back out of it with more than enough resources for the next batch of troops that you want to build or the next research you need to do. Um, and obviously, you know, am I done with this event yet? No, not, of course not. I still have energy, <laughs> so I can still keep going. Um, you know, and there's at least 600,000, 700,000, yeah, you know, about 750 or so. So you'll still see more so uh, of this. I will more than likely still have more to use. But at, after it's all said and done, I got about 200,000 stars out of the actual event so far. You know, and that's already done me a lot of, a lot. I mean, it just really has. It, it's, I mean, just to give you an idea, all right, looking at the rares and stuff of that nature, okay? Obviously, the one benefit of doing, like, a labyrinth during an elite-based event is that you can then kind of 
you know, if you're running low on these, you can then kind of work your way into getting a, a nice set going pretty quick. Now, you know, in my case, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting a Terror Shield now that I've pretty much completed most of the necessary requirements for all of my... As you can see here, I've got two gold fear drums. I have three gold terra vials, and I'm now working on the last fear drum. And, you know, as soon as that's complete, I mean, as far as fear drums are concerned, I'm pretty much done. Um, of course, I still have another blight ring. I need to get the purple, you know, but the, the benefit of this is, you know, like now I've got a champ edge blue. I will soon have a pair of champion greaves at blue. Um, so in case you're wondering, what did I end up choosing? I chose cavalry uh, because, frankly, the only set that I use more often than not is cavalry. So it only makes sense. Um, when it comes to the actual jewels, right? And this is going to be, probably for me anyway, this is going to be one of the, the only things that I'm going to be working on probably for quite some time is it takes a lot of good jewels to fill those gear pieces. And so I've been constantly switching. Um, and at this point now it's, you know, it's kind of a question of, you know, I've got to pull jewels usually out of, you know, say if I pull them out of the dragon salon, I got to move them over into a new set and runs for Pete, you know, and that's not something I like to do. So I just, at this point, I just have to fetch, you know, lots and lots of jewels. And if you're wondering, you know, how do you get a lot of jewels? You just need to take your gold coins and dump them into jewel chests or just do this event because really, <laughs> it's really how you can do, you know, a lot with a little nothing. Now, of course, you know, you can see I've got tons of and tons of resources. Um, I've been building up tier fours and we're, uh, we're approaching the, uh, we're, we're on our way. We're still in the scary zone, but we're, we're working our way to getting to a point where we could probably do some serious damage. But needless to say, I hope you guys enjoy this little update, and hopefully you guys are going after the Phantom Knights as much as I am. And, well, needless to say, check out these videos, and I'll see you guys next time.